video, I want to introduce the notion of a limit, and the way I'm going to do that is by studying the function f of x equal to 1 over x. Now I want to know what this function looks like, and the way I'm going to do that is by picking some values for x, putting them through the function 1 over x, and plotting the points in the graph. Okay, so let's begin. When x equals minus 3, we get minus 1 third. When x equals minus 2, we get minus 1 half. When x equals minus 1, I get minus 1. When x equals 0, well, when x equals 0, we've got a problem, because 1 over 0 is undefined, and we can't do that. So, I'll just put it with a question mark for the moment. When x equals 1, I get 1. When x equals 2, I get 1 half. And when x equals 3, I get 1 third. Okay, so let's plot these points and see what we've got. So when x is minus 3, I get a y value of minus 1 third. That's around there. When x equals minus 2, I get minus 1 half. When x equals minus 1, I have minus 1. When x is 1, I have 1. When x is 2, I get a y value of 1 half. When x is 3, I get a y value of 1 third. Okay, so let's join these points up and see what we've got. Okay, so there's quite a bit of information missing between here and here. So what we could do is something like this. We could pick x equals minus one half and x equals plus one half in order to get closer towards x equals zero. So let's do that. When x equals minus one half, we get a y value of minus 2, and when x equals plus 1 half, we get a y value of plus 2. So let's plot these points. Minus 1 half, minus 2, plus 1 half, 2. So that's looking better. Why don't we repeat this process? Let's pick x equals minus 1 quarter, and x equals plus 1 quarter. So if I substitute x equals minus one quarter into this, I get minus four. If I substitute x equals plus one quarter into my function, I get plus four. And again, let's plot these points. Minus one quarter, minus four, plus one quarter, four. And join up these points. Okay, so that's looking pretty good now. But what I'd like to do is repeat this process over and over again in order to get as close as I possibly can to x equals zero. And this is where I introduce the notion of a limit. What I'd like to do is calculate the limit as x tends to zero of one over x. So what I'm saying by this is I'd like to get infinitely close to zero in this function. Now looking at my graph, as I approach x equals zero from the left, it would appear that the graph is shooting off down towards minus infinity. And as I approach x equals zero from the right, it would appear that my curve is shooting off to plus infinity. So I better check what it's doing from both sides. So what I do is I calculate the limit as x tends to zero from the left of one over x, and the limit as x tends to zero from the right of one over x. Now I'd just like to make some quick remarks about this notation here. What I'm saying is that I want to approach zero from the left. In other words, numbers smaller than zero. And I want to approach zero from the right. In other words, numbers slightly bigger than zero. Now it's just a coincidence in this case that numbers smaller than zero are negative and numbers bigger than zero are positive. But in general, the plus the minus sign and the plus sign means that we're talking about numbers slightly smaller than whatever this figure is here and numbers slightly bigger than whatever this figure is here. Okay, so let's work this out. If I pick a number slightly smaller than zero and substitute it into this function here, well, it will be negative, and one divided by a tiny number will go to infinity. You can check that on your calculator. Similarly here, if I pick a number slightly bigger than zero, well, it will be positive, and one divided by a tiny number is going to shoot off to infinity. So just like what we expected, as we approach from the left, the curve is going to shoot off down to minus infinity, and as we approach from the right, it's going to shoot off to plus infinity. 
So we say in this situation that the limit is x tends to 0 of 1 over x overall does not exist. And the reason for that is because the limit from the left does not equal the limit from the right. 